Hello friends, this video on Neural Control and Coordination Part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at the mechanism of reflex action. So how the entire process of reflex action take place. Now we will take the same example. If you stick to one example, if you get a good understanding of this, then you can also try with some other examples. What happens when you place your foot there? The stimulus is received. And what is the stimulus? The event of the fire which gives you a lot of heat and pain. Right? So that provides the stimulus. So this stimulus is provided by the fire. Now, this stimulus is received by the receptor organ and what is the receptor organ? The receptor organ is the sense organ and which, which sense organ received the stimulus in this case? In this case, it is received by the skin, right? Now, what happens? It is carried by the sensory nerve, then the nerve, now, as soon as the stimulus is received, at the level of neuron, what is happening as soon as the stimulus is received, the neuron gets excited. The neurons of near that area, near your leg, that area gets excited. When the neurons get excited, action potential is generated. Then the action potential is transmitted from one neuron to another. So what are these neurons through which this transmission is taking place? These, all these neurons are the forming, forms the sensory nerve, which is also known as afferent nerve fiber, whatever you call it. Then these sensory nerves carry the electric impulse to the spinal cord. So it reaches the spinal cord. Now how does it enter the spinal cord? It enters the spinal cord through the dorsal horn. Because dorsal horn is connected to the sensory nerve. So through the dorsal horn it enters the spinal cord. Now inside the spinal cord it then reaches the, into the grey matter. And in the grey matter what happens? The processing of the sensory information takes place. So in the grey matter processing takes place because in the grey matter a lot of interneurons are present. So all types of processing will take place and then again from the spinal cord it will move to the motor nerve. How? Through the ventral horn because the ventral horn of the spinal cord is connected to the motor nerve. So the motor nerve which is also known as the efferent nerve fiber will carry the response. The response is also in the form of electric impulse. So these efferent nerve fibers will carry the electrical impulse and it will reach the effector organ. The effector organ in this case is the muscles of the leg. So it will reach to the muscles of the leg with the uh, response from the spinal cord in the form of electric impulse. And then this effector organ will give out the response. And what is the response? The leg is removed. And you know it for yourself that this entire process takes place instantly. Now in this case if you see there is no direct involvement of the brain. That is because if you want this to be sent to the brain even after spinal cord. So that will involve two extra steps. So that will involve some extra time. Now we do, cannot afford to spend any extra time because it is it needs an immediate response. So that is why it is completely taken care by spinal cord. And however, the brain is kept informed, the brain knows. Now, how is the brain kept informed that, okay, all these things are happening and this is what the spinal cord has told? Because the spinal cord is always in direct communication with the brain. Spinal cord is connected to the brain directly through the medulla oblongata. So, the spinal cord itself will send all the information to the brain and it will keep the brain informed about everything. So brain is like, uh, like uh, if you think of uh, a scenario like this, brain is like uh, the principal of the school. So the principal knows all about what is happening inside the school. But at the same time, for a particular class, you have a class teacher who takes care of all the needs of that particular class. Now let us suppose... If there is uh, any small thing, any some small issue that has come up in, within the class, so there is some problem which has cropped up in the class. 
So now the class will approach the class teacher. If the class wants, they can also approach the principal. But unnecessarily, they would not like to waste time reaching the principal. So they will first approach the class teacher and then the class teacher will give them a solution. However, the class teacher will keep the principal informed. So similar is the case here. The brain directly is not involved just to save time. So the spinal cord itself gives the response, but the brain is kept informed about whatever is happening. So that is the mechanism of reflex action and this entire process, this entire flow is also known as the reflex arc. So this is how we can relate the spinal cord with the brain. So now let us look at some of the very common examples of reflex actions. For example, you would have seen that while eating something, if by chance something gets something by mistake enters your windpipe what happens you immediately start to cough so that is an instant action that takes place so whenever something gets stuck while swallowing it, it sends an immediate uh, it sends that information to the spinal cord and the spinal cord sends a response that okay start coughing right however your brain has a control on that because there are specific centers in the brain which controls your coughing your sneezing and everything so it is under the control of the brain but during reflex actions where you want to give instant uh, response that is done through the spinal cord. However, spinal cord indirectly is again connected to the brain. When you touch a hot cup of coffee, it, you immediately remove your hand. That is another example of reflex action or when you get an electric shock, when you see a tiger and start running. When you see something very delicious and then you, your mouth starts to water. So these are some of the instant actions or when something enters inside your nose and, and some dirt particles or something like that and you immediately start sneezing. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, Find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.